This is my 2002 eMac. It's got a PowerPC G4 processor in it um, with uh, 768 megs of RAM. So 800 megahertz PowerPC G4. Uh, it's got a dial-up modem. Uh, I believe it's got Super Drive. So 56k modem, Super Drive, NVIDIA graphics. Um, 200. It came stock with 256 megs of RAM, but I upgraded it to 128 and or 100, 768. And if you look right here. We still got Mac OS 10.2.8. So what we're gonna be doing, I bought Mac OS 10 Tiger install DVD. So with this disc, we'll be able to install Mac OS 10 Tiger, and we should be able to get some more life out of the system. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the disc. did come with Xcode 2 also, I'm probably not going to use Xcode on here, um, but yeah, came with it, so cool. I'll go ahead and open up the installer and restart. Alright, so here we have our choose your language thing, so I obviously speak English. Let's click continue. And, yep, continue. And continue. Agree. We got 30 gigs free on our Macintosh HD uh, drive, so go ahead and install it on there. Ah, this is interesting. Because of a problem selling Mac OS X could not be completed. And so, okay, well, um, it appears we've crashed it, so <laughs> I'll go ahead and restart the system. And I'll come back um, if it works. Alright, so we're back here. Uh, go ahead and hit continue. I speak English, just like earlier. Uh, continue. Continue. Agree. Let's see if it crashes again. Okay, good. It didn't crash. So I'll hit Macintosh HD. I believe here is where. Okay, yeah, we just want to upgrade the OS. So we continue. This is where I want to customize things. So I don't want language translations. So let me unclick that. Don't want additional fonts, don't want printer drivers. Uh, hold on. Okay, I guess we have to do language translations. Uh, so we'll leave that on. Um, so it's only going to be a 1.9 gig install, which is crazy because today OS's are like, you know, 7 gigs, 10 gigs. I'm pretty sure. Mac OS is like 7 gigs, so yeah, we'll just hit upgrade. So now it's installing, it's preparing the disk, so verifying destination volume, and it should soon give us a estimated time of how long it's going to take, which 
I'm guessing about 15 minutes because it's off CD even though it's a 1 gig OS or almost 2 gig OS. Alright, so the install failed. It just says, please try again, tr please, bleh, please try installing again, so hit restart. Okay, so it's the next week from, or since when I recorded the last clip. Now got a cold, Emac hasn't wanted to work. I tried using disk utility from both the OS itself and from the disk to repair the disk permissions. Because what it looks like, or it looks like it's a um, disk error or something's wrong with one of the sectors on the disk. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the Emac into target disk mode and plug it into the iMac G5 which is right next to it and use Disk Warrior to repair the drive permissions and hopefully that'll work. So I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it plugged in and then we'll restart the system so that we can um, run Disk Warrior. Okay, so I'm gonna restart the Mac holding down T on the keyboard. Okay, so we're now in target disk mode. So the Emacs drive should pop up onto, yep, it popped up onto the um, iMac. I'm gonna move the camera around so you can see the iMac screen now. All right, so the iMac is asking if we wanna use Macintosh HD as, uh, it would help to plug in the keyboard, as the um, uh, time machine backup, but obviously we don't wanna do that because that'll wipe the drive. And, I don't think this iMac needs to be backed up or anything, so I'm going to hit cancel, open this warrior. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to hit Macintosh HD. So, there's two Macintoshes, Mac Macintosh HDs. This one, which is um, this drive, the internal drive, and then there's uh, the Firewire disk, which is the Emac. So we're gonna hit, or we're gonna make sure it's on this one, and we're gonna hit rebuild. All right, so it's finished. Um, Let's see. So it's found two files had a directory entry with incorrect alias. Um, 13 files directory entry with incorrect text code value. Uh, one folder had directory entry with uh, incorrect flag. Eight folders had directory entries with incorrect custom icon flags, whatever that means, um, and incorrect values in the volume information. So we can hit replace, I guess. And I'm not really sure how Disk Warrior works all that much. I've never really used it. So I'll let it do its thing. And hopefully, I'll fix the Emacs drive and we'll be able to install Tiger on it. I'm going to save the report. Alright, so we should be done. I'm going to go ahead and eject the uh, Firewire drive. And. Go ahead and put the iMac back to sleep and we'll go back to the eMac. Alright, so I'm back. I'm not focused. <laughs> um, I'm back on the eMac. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start it up using Option so we can boot into the boot menu. 
and throw the tiger disc in. Alright, back to a familiar screen. Yep, use English as main language. Continue. Continue. Agree. Macintosh HD. Continue. Customize. Don't want those. And upgrade. that and it still looks like we're getting stuck in the same spot this is really annoying alright well I'm gonna give it a minute and see if we make any progress if we don't I'll come back and yeah, I guess we can do an archive and install, which from what I know won't mess with any of my files stored on the drive. Oh, oh yes, it's installing. Okay, cool. So this should go pretty well from here. It's going to be so nice to get out of 2002. Mac OS 10.2.8. There's no support on that OS, and 10.4 is going to have much more support than 10.2. I'll be able to get 10.4 Fox, which is a modern browser that's been crapped down to work on a PowerPC Mac. And it says about 22 minutes left, so that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'll come back when this finishes. Yeah. Alright, so the install succeeded. I'm going to go ahead and restart. I thought we would get the intro video first. I don't know. Hmm. No intro. But we do, we successfully have Tiger on here. Maybe it's after I log in? Maybe? No? No intro at all? Uh, doesn't appear that there's going to be an intro. Ah, set up a system. Disappointing, there's no intro video. Uh, that really sucks. I thought these played intro videos, but I guess not. Well, I know there's a Tiger intro video. I don't know why I didn't play it. That's really strange. But, oh, here we go.
finish filling this up or filling this out and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've gotten Tiger updated to 10.4.11. Um, it's working pretty fast. It boots up way quicker than it did on um, Jaguar, but um, yeah, a little bit sluggish around the OS, probably because I just installed it. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's a successful upgrade. Only took about a week to get everything working perfectly fine. And now that it's installed, everything's working great. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.